Hey there all craft beer lovers, it's the Cider Fanatic here, back with another beer review. This time we're going to Denmark and we're taking a look at an offering from uh, Bryggeriet Westfyn or the Westfyn Brewery. There you can see it there. And we are taking a look at their Willemos Stout coming in at 6% ABV in a 500 milliliter bottle. Nice looking label there. There's the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out and see what we are going to get. Nice bit of smoke there. And the beer is going out. So yeah, I picked this up in Denmark a while back. I think it was like five, six weeks ago perhaps. I picked it up in a supermarket actually. Uh, so let's see how this one turns out then. A little bit more beer left in the bottle. Let's see if we can get everything in this one. In this pint glass. In this lovely looking pint glass. John Bull English Ale. Let's see if we can get everything in there. Right, there we go. The beer is totally out. There you go. Right. In view, guys, we have approximately one finger there of a tan-colored, quickly dissipating head. A little bit fluffy there. The beer looks very dark, I would say. Not super massively dark, a little bit light bleeding through. But looks nice. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, so right up you got that little bit of a vinous note in there. Yeah, definitely dark fruit. Yeah, nice light uh, smell of dark fruits, uh, plums, raisins, maybe figs, dates. A little bit of a licorice smell as well in the background. Yeah, smells pretty good. So with that said, guys, cheers. And here's to Willemus Stout. Cheers. Mm. Okay, let's go for another one. Mm. All right. Okay guys, so, uh, right up, you do have a very, I would say not very perhaps, but it's a little bit more thin bodied beer. Uh, that's kind of directly a minus in my book when I'm reviewing a stout. The body's a little bit thin. Uh, the There's a little bit of a kind of a metallic aftertaste. Not much, not super intrusive, but it's there in the aftertaste. A little bit of metallic uh, aftertaste there. Gotta go for another one. Mm. Yeah, so <clears throat> you have those notes, as I noticed in the smell. There, there's a light note of dark fruit, uh, like plums or figs or something like that, maybe raisins. The beer isn't sweet though, it's not a sweet stout. A uh, little bit of a uh, li little nice bitterness flowing about there. Little hint of tobacco smoke. Yeah, little bit of dark malt, but that's basically it. It's not a big flavor, guys. I gotta be honest with that. It's not a big flavor. Uh, it's not a bad beer either. I mean, it is what it is. As I said, I bought it in a supermarket. Uh, didn't have super high expectations of it. But, I mean, it's what I would call a meal stout. Uh, yeah, a meal stout. With that, I mean a stout that goes well with a meal. You know, your evening meal or your dinner or whatever. It's not a high quality stout, but it's not a bad stout either. It's pretty okay, I would say. Final sip. Mm. 
yeah okay <clears throat> so yeah guys i would have wanted a bit more beer body to the beer a little bit more pronounced flavors but you do have in the lighter in the lighter sense you do have some uh, dark fruits in there a little bit of vinous notes a little bit of tobacco hint a little bit of dark malt but it's it's a thin bodied beer and the flavors aren't super pronounced but i mean yeah it's a kind of a supermarket stout so yeah with that said i'm gonna rate it i'm gonna give it a 2.5 out of 5 not a bad stout but not the best one either definitely drinkable though that was everything i had for today guys feel free of course as always to chime in thumb me up if you like the review subscribe to the channel have a good one see you next time